गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अवर नॉइस चैप्टर रिलेटेड टू एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग अलोंग विद द टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनल नॉइसेस देयर आर सिक्स और सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनल नॉइसेस एडेड इन यूवर सिलेबस अलोंग विद दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वन बाय वन बट इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू टू टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनल सोर्सेस ऑफ नॉइस दैट दैट इज वन ऑफ द टाइप इज अ शॉर्ट नॉइज एंड अनदर टाइप इज अ पार्टीशन नॉइज दैट शॉर्ट नॉइज देन व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दैट शॉर्ट नॉइज और वेयर दैट शॉर्ट नॉइज इज ऑकर दैट शॉर्ट शॉर्ट नॉइज इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू शॉर्ट इफेक्ट ड्यू टू शॉर्ट इफेक्ट इन द नॉइज दैट इज प्रोड्यूस इन एम्पलीफाइंग डिवाइसेज दैट मीन्स दैट शॉर्ट नॉइज इज ए अलवेज इंट्रोड्यूस इन दैट एम्पलीफाइंग डिवाइसेज एंड नॉट एनी अदर डिवाइसेज और फॉर दैट ऑफ द मैटर इन ऑल द एक्टिव डिवाइसेज द शॉर्ट नॉइज इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू द रैंडम वेरिएशन in the arrival of electron or hole at the output of electrode of an amplifying device therefore it affects at the randomly varying the noise current superimposed on the output of the short noise sound like the uh, shower of a lead short filling on the material sheet if the amplified and a passed through the loud speaker that short noise has an uniform spectral density like the thermal noise the exact formula for that short noise can be obtained only for the diodes for all other devices it is approximately equal uh, equation this is stated that in the square shot that is a square shot uh, noise current for the diode is given as i n square is equal to 2 i uh, dc q b ampere square for that equation where we are going to calculate that shot noise in terms of current uh, we are going to give detailed structure related to what is the meaning of that i dc what is the meaning of q and what is the meaning of that p here we are going to calculate that current for that purpose that current square that is a uh, current unit is a uh, having ampere and here we are going to calculate that current square equation for that purpose here the unit is having ampere square uh, where idc is the direct current across the junction and this idc is measured in terms of ampere that is q is a electron charges that electron charges is measured in terms of 1.6 into 10 to 19 kelvin then b is the uh, bandwidth that bandwidth is always mentioned in terms of hertz related to short noise this is all the structure related to that short noise uh, uh, going through onwards uh, we are going to study one example related to that short noise apart from this the second type is related to internal noise is a partition noise that partition noise what is the meaning of that partition noise partition noise is generated when the current get divided between two or more paths that means when uh, current is uh, flowing through the circuit that current is a uh, divided into two or more parts then that uh, partition noise is a uh, um, called then that partition noise is, uh, uh, is generated due to the random fluctuation in the division in the partition number of will be uh, higher than that of the diodes that means it is uh, divided into that random motion in uh, of the holes and electron that is a device like gallium arsenide uh, filled by transistor draws almost zero gate bias current hence the keeping the partition noise uh, to its minimum value we are going to study that is a partition noise uh, along with that partition noise and short noise uh, i have given one mathematical equation or example uh, along with that statement example that will we shows us how we are going to calculate that short noise and partition noise while we are going to use practically here that is the example to just read out that statement and we are going to calculate that statement one by one for example statement a noise generator using a diode is required to produce a 15 microvolt noise voltage in a receiver which has an input impedance of 75 ohm purely resistive the receiver has a noise power bandwidth of 200 kilohertz calculate the current through that diode that means the current flowing through that diode we are going to calculate here what are the given data given data is a voltage that is a 15 micro volt that is a resistor that is a 75 ohm and uh, bandwidth is equal to 200 kilohertz step 1 first of all we have to calculate the noise current the noise current of flowing through the 75 ohm resistor is given by we know what is the relation in between current voltage and resistor current is directly proportional to the resistance sorry current is inversely proportional to the resistance and resistance is inversely proportional to the current therefore the current is equal to 15 into 10 raised to minus 6 uh, sorry voltage is equal to 15 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by resistor that is a 75 uh, ohm um, then 
that we are going to calculate that is a current is a inversely proportional to that resistor resistors is inversely proportional to current but voltage here given in terms of micro volt for that purpose we have to convert that micro volt voltage into volt by multiplying 10 raised to minus 6 factor that is a current i n is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ampere that uh, minus 7 ampere we have to convert into micro ampere that is a minus 7 uh, we have to convert into terms of micro ampere that is a micro ampere then step 2 we have to calculate the diode current we know that the short noise is given by i n square is equal to 2 into bracket i plus i 0 q b that is i n square is equal to we have to simplify this bracket by using the 2 multiplied by that uh, whole equation bracket that is a 2 i into multiplied by q into multiplied by v here that is i 0 is related to initial level current for that purpose that initial level current we are going to neglect here for that purpose we have to put all these values related to this equation i in value here we have calculated that this is a point to uh, micro ampere this that i have put it here is equal to 2 into what is the value of i um, i i we are going to calculate here into multiplied by q q is a, what is the value of q q is nothing but 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 into multiplied by b means what bandwidth bandwidth we have to take always in terms of hertz but that they have given that bandwidth in terms of kilohertz for that purpose we have to convert that kilohertz frequency uh, bandwidth into hertz by multiplying 10 raised to 3 that is a 200 into 10 raised to 3 therefore what is the value came into picture i that is i is equal to 0.62 for you ampere or uh, in terms of milliampere i it is a taken as a uh, uh, 6 uh, 2 for you milliampere this is all the things related to that short noise as well as uh, another type of noise that is a partition noise uh, along with this uh, we have completed that is a two types of a noises today here that is a short noise and partition noise short noise is a uh, reduced due to short effect and partition noise is it introduced due to uh, if that current flowing path is divided into two types along with this one mathematical equations or calculations how we are going to calculate that short noise as well as partition noise we have studied all the respective things related to this here uh, by taking help of this uh, thus we are going to reduce the effect of that internal noise related to short noise as well as partition noise okay thank you